Welcome to episode 1011, Stuart Butterfield, From Two Philosophy Degrees to Founding of Two High-Tech Companies. This is an outline of episode 1011. 1997 now. You're armed with two philosophy degrees, but you decided to become a web developer. Um, what led you back into technology? Well, um, so like I said, I got to college in 92, which was six months to maybe a year before the web really took off. Like I think Mosaic had been invented, but, and that meant that as soon as the web became a, a you know, popular medium that started supplanting things like Gopher and, and Waze. Um, Alma Butterfield was born in 1973 in Lund, British Columbia, Canada. For the first five years, he lived in a log cabin without electricity. This is picture of baby Dharma Butterfield with his hippie mother, Norma, and his hippie dad, David Butterfield. Well, I really wanted to be normal, and um, for some reason I thought Stuart was a normal name, like Mike or something like that. <laughs> and uh, Stuart's a, it's a pretty bad name. Like... He earned two degrees, both in philosophy, first in 1996 from the University of Victoria, then a master's degree from Cambridge University. And from Cambridge, England, he went to Silicon Valley to work for startups. 2002 um, was after the dot-com crash. It was, and the NASDAQ was down 80%. S&P 500 was down 65% from its peak. No one wanted to invest in internet-facing stuff. So it was very hard to tell whether this was a good idea or not, um, because there was no signal from the market that said, this is an investable idea, because nothing was investable at that time. Um, we raised a little bit of friends and family money. We spent um, about a year or so building a prototype. The prototype was well received, but it was going to take us another year and a half to finish it. And um, but that would be quicker to get to market. And that thing was Flickr. But the In 2004, he saw Flickr the photo sharing website to Yahoo for more than $20 million. It was rich. In 2009, at the age of 36, he founded Slack in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Very different than what everyone else sees. And here, everyone looks at the same thing. And the really important thing is, um, you can see across the organization. You can see what your colleagues are doing. The amount of information that's accessible is uh, profoundly increased. You don't have to read it all, but when you search for something, you can find it. Show me some channels. On the sidebar, on the left side right. here, uh, these are all the channels. Because there's a place that people can go and look or ask their question, the uh, friction in communication is reduced by orders of magnitude. In December 2020, Salesforce acquired Slack for 28 billion dollars. Um, you know, I think it, it wasn't um, expected to the, to the outside world, but we have a lot of momentum now. We came out of this quarter and we announced our results, 12,000 uh, new paid customers in that quarter. So it's up 140% from a year ago. Uh, it matches the, the, you know, the crazy surge that we saw during the early days of the pandemic. And that momentum is coming from product improvements and it's coming from Slack Connect, which allows two organizations to communicate across organizational boundaries. And I think that's actually going to be key to the value unlock over the next few years. Salesforce is all about CRM. It's all about customers. Um, and Slack Connect right. is you know, 95% customer vendor relationships. In February 2021, Stuart Butterfield, the former philosophy major, now at age 47, is worth $1.8 billion. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Stuart Butterfield, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.